Hello and welcome to the video by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use indirect function in Excel. Before I tell you about indirect formula, let me warn you that indirect is a volatile formula which means that it recalculates uh, the workbook or the worksheet whenever there is any change. So whenever you use indirect formula on large data, uh, be cautious because this can slow down your workbooks. Now let me tell you how indirect formula works. Indirect formula takes two arguments. First is the reference text and other is the format of the reference. So in this case I would use the default format. You can also use R1, C1 style of formatting. In the reference text you have to give it a reference within quotes. So here I give A2 as the reference within quotes and what indirect formula does is it will go to A2 and it will fetch the value in that cell. So if I hit control enter, it gives me 3 because 3 is the value in cell A2. I can also use indirect formula by joining uh, some text or values in such a way that it creates a reference. So here I join A in double quotes and I hit ampersand and I say A2 or I can just select A2. Now, if you just select this part, this part within the formula and hit F9, you can see that this gives A3 and what indirect formula would do is it will go to A3 and it will get its value which is hello. So I hit control enter and it gives me hello. Indirect formula can also refer to named ranges. So what I've done is I have created a named range for A3 and the name is hello underscore NR, NR for named range. Uh, to create this I just clicked on this cell and I typed the name here. And you can see I can use indirect formula to refer to that named range. So I can type hello underscore NR and I close the bracket and this named range name is in double quotes and I hit control enter. And you can see it, re it returns hello which is there in the named range. Here I only have one cell in that named range. You can have multiple cells and it would return the entire list. And finally, I can use indirect formula by referring to a cell which in turn has a cell reference. So here I use A4 and when this indirect formula goes to A4, it sees that there is another cell reference there which is A3 and then it goes to A3 to get that value. The reason this works is if you select A4 and hit F9, you will see that this returns A3 in double quotes and indirect formula refers to A3 then. So now if I hit control enter, you can see that it again returns hello because I gave it indirect A4, A4 has A3 and then A3 has hello in it. So this is how indirect function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.